catch them all <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to Chance. You're gonna do time gaming. We're back again with another Blackwell Deception. Um, in the last part, I believe we um we haven't played this in a while, you guys. I believe we um we um I won't say got rid of. We sent Jamie along her way. I don't know if it's saved though. So honestly, I'm just gonna exit the room. Yeah, because I don't know if it's saved. So really, I don't know what. What we gotta do now? Well, I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. Yeah, because I think hers is done with because you don't see Jamie on here anymore. So, I'm gonna go back to the cafe and see what else I can find out. Because Durkin Hi. is here. Detective Durkin? Yeah. Are we? So, any progress on Jeremy? Look. You helped us out on the ID, but don't push it. You know about as much as I do. Um, don't be coming at me like Do you know an R Abu? Nah, sorry. This club where Jamie died. It was Munray's, wasn't it? You get around. Yeah, that was the place. You spoke to Professor Appleton. The Graham kids, prof? Yeah, why? No reason, really. Do the initials STP mean anything to you? Nah, sorry. Do you know any Rachels? Nah, sorry. Does the name Tiffany Walters mean anything to you? I think nah. I already did this with her, though. Do you know anyone named Gavin? You're gonna have to be more specific than that. He's kind of a cult leader. I'm not sure what he does yet. Yet? Have you heard of him or not? Nah, sorry. Yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> How come Munrays is still open after what they did? How do you think any club stays open? They offer favors and spread money around to the right people, and the whole thing never happened. Exactly. It's all hushed up. Nothing in the papers, even. Alright. Well, bye. See ya. Let's talk to the movie star. Hi again. Hi! My big guy. Shall I It's so it? tempting, but I've already had more coffee today than I should. Well, there's nothing to Thanks. talk about. Thanks. I'll see so. you around. Have a good night. I guess we can go to Tiffany's now. And maybe some of my notes can be put together? I don't think those are connected in any way. No connection that I can see. Hmm. I can't see any connection. Our, okay, you know what, Rachel? Hmm. I can't see any no, connection. No, person. I'm on Tiffany, right? Tiffany. Tiffany had a letter from someone named STP. Hmm. Lisa said that she referred Tiffany to Gavin. Yeah, I don't know. So, I think Rachel is... I think it's a pretty good bet that the R in R Abu stands for Rachel. Yeah. Rachel and Tiffany were in the same photograph together, so obviously they know each other. So maybe I have to find this Rachel. Let's see. Okay, maybe. Alright, so let's... Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Hello again. What? Do you ever go to a nightclub called Munray's? I think I did this Why would I go to a place like that?
the Rachel name Could you tell me what STP stands for? Stop with the personal questions. It's my life. Just leave. Well, see you around. Yeah, yeah. see ya. Okay, well. Hello. Okay, you can relax. I'm back. Joy. There's some piece of information that I'm missing that may be... Hmm. Huh. I don't know, y'all. Let's go home. Hi again. Hi! Are you Rachel Abu? Yeah, that's me. Oh. I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. Tiffany? She kind of What do about her? Kind of. <laughs> you were friends, right? Sort of. Yeah. We were friends before, well, before she died. I'm looking into her death. Why? Wasn't it a brain aneurysm or something? A That's brain what I'm aneurysm. trying to find out. Well, okay, but I'm not sure what kind of help I can be. Have you ever heard of STP? Nope, I don't think so. Sorry. You wouldn't know anybody named Gavin, would you? Funny. I think Tiffany did mention that name once or twice. But I don't remember the context. Sorry. So you and Tiffany were friends? A few years ago. We were both office temps, and when our jobs ended, we got close. I went on to start this place. She stayed on with the temp agency. She was trying to find her way, you know? Maybe she thought she found it. What do you mean? Um, uh, she met some guy named Ken at one of her temp jobs. Then she stopped hanging out with me. Same old story. I don't blame her. It happens. Okay, so... That has nothing I think I believe. Do you know anything about- Nope, I- What do you know about the guy Tiffany was with? Only that his name was Ken, and she met him while on one of her office temp jobs. Tiffany was... Kind of intense about him. Maybe she really fell boyfriend. head over heels. I couldn't tell if it was sweet or if it was scary. Oh, like she said, she fell head over heels with him. Do you know where Tiffany was temping when she met Ken? I wouldn't know. She never told me. And those temp agencies bounce you around. What about the agency she worked for? We didn't work at the same agency, so I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you around. Have a good night. Alright, so maybe let's see if we can get her some information from her now. Being that we know she worked at a temp agency. Go to Joey. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Oh, I can't even Hello again. anyway, so... What? So, I heard you work as a temp. Yeah, I'm a temp. I know it's not a real career, but so what? I'll find my way. In fact, maybe I already have. Easy there. I was just asking. No judgments here. So, tell me about Ken. Ken? He's wonderful. Is he now? He's... I can't begin to explain. Try me. He... Wait. Not you too. Huh? Why is everyone against us? I don't understand. I'd like to understand. How about you tell me about it? Just go away. Um, girl. I'd like to talk to Ken. You think you could introduce me? Why? So you can tell him more lies about me? I don't think so.
Well, see you around. Yeah, yeah. see ya. Okay, you can relax. I'm back. Joy. Joy, is it? STP could be a temp agency, I suppose. Only one way to find out. Give me a sec. You talking to me? Bingo. STP stands for Sterling Temp Placement. And here's the address. It's just south of Midtown. You enjoy that thing a little too much. <laughs> don't be mad because you don't know what it is, Joey. Hi, are you busy? Hmm? Sorry, we're not taking new applicants right now. And even if I were, it's several hours past closing time. I'm not looking for a job, sorry. I was hoping to ask you some questions. Will this take long? It depends on you. Fine, what do you want? You're open kinda late. Like I said, we're not open. Just because I'm not seeing a client doesn't mean there isn't work to do. Do you know anyone named Ken? I think Tiffany was involved with him. I can't tell you anything about that. That's confidential information. So something happened, but you can't tell me about it. I said nothing of the sort. Do you know anything about a nightclub called Munray's? No, I don't. Do you know anyone named Elaine Appleton? No, I don't. No, I don't. So, what can you tell me about this place? If you want to know more, come back during business hours. And what is your business hours? I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. She used to work for this agency. Yes, I remember her. I need to know what company you placed her in. That, I'm afraid, is confidential. Are you aware that Tiffany is dead? I am aware, yes, but it doesn't change anything. Com confident? Do you know anyone named Gavin? Yes. No, I don't. Well, thanks. I'll be going now. Right. Let's see, maybe... I can't... They look like leaflets advertising this office. We don't need to go back there. Well, maybe... It gotta be something. I gotta Sterling get... here forgot to change the month. The conversation would be a little one-sided. Typical suit. Pale from sitting in an office all day. Probably has an ulcer, too. Ah! <laughs> Yo, it's funny. You probably got an ulcer, too. <laughs> Let's go and see. Tiffany. <laughs> Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. All this girl do is stare at the window. Hello it? again. What? I'd like to talk to Ken. You think you could introduce me? Why? So you can tell him more lies about me? I don't think so. I heard you worked for Sterling. Oh, those jerks. Jerks? They fired me. Terminated my contract. For no reason. Sorry to hear that. Whatever. It's not like there aren't other temp agencies. Hmm. So, tell me about yourself, Tiffany. Nice try, but I don't think so. Where do I need to put... Ken and Stoli together? Got it? Well, see you around. Yeah, see ya. Okay, you can relax. I'm back. Joy. Joy? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't think those are connected in any way.
Because why did Tony just go for no reason though? Hi again. Yes. I know you terminated Tiffany's contract. Could you tell me why? Look, we had a serious complaint and had to let her go. That's all I can say. You can't tell me who made the complaint. Absolutely not. Why the secrecy? Surely Tiffany won't mind. She's dead. Look, whatever happened, happened at the client's office. And I like to keep my clients. Agencies like mine are struggling to stay in business. People just aren't hiring temps like they used to. So if it's all the same, I'm keeping my mouth shut. So you'd say your reputation is important? Of course it's important. Without it, who would do business with us? Oh, well, thanks. I'll stuff. be going now. Right. You might be interested in seeing this. The City Post? Is that who you're working for? Yes, the biggest paper in the city. Maybe you can be more forthcoming now. No, doesn't change a thing. Confidential is confidential. You just made doubly sure that I won't say anything. They look like leaflets for the... I don't think I need any of those. Hi again. Yes? Well, I'm afraid that I have no choice but to end my article with you. Huh? What do you mean? An investigation is like following links in a chain, and you're the last link. Is this supposed to be a threat? I've told you absolutely nothing. Oh, don't worry. Uh -huh. I'll just write the truth about how you fired her and then refused to comment on her tragic death in the City Post, read by millions. That should do wonders for your reputation, don't you think? Why are you harassing me? Surely there are <laughs> other leads you could follow. Maybe, but I'm on a deadline. It's a shame that I don't have someone else to harass instead. Maybe then I could avoid mentioning this place entirely. This is blackmail. Ah. Fine. The man you want is Ken Sharp of Sharp Sound. Now just get out of here. Ken Sharp of Sharp Sound. Now let's go talk to her about some Ken Sharp. And also we do need to look up... Ken Sharp, I believe, or Sharp Sound, maybe? Let's see. Alright, we have the sh Sharp. We also need to go talk there, though. Locked. Wrong person. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Hello again. What? I'd like to talk to Ken. You think you could introduce me? Why? So you can tell him more lies about me? I don't think so. Because why do you think I want to tell this man lies? Lies about what? Well, see you around. Yeah, see ya. Okay, you can relax. I'm back. So let's Joy. go talk to Ken first, I guess, because Tiffany ain't got wrong person. Oh, well, he's still late, so. Locked. Becca, I found your phone. I've got it in my desk drawer. Swing by when you get a chance, and I'll give it back to you. Ken. Come on in. Hi, are you Ken Sharp? I sure am. What can I do for you, Miss... Blackwell. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nah, the midnight oil can wait. What's up? I'm helping out the City Post with an article. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. The newspaper. Sure. Ask away. So, what can you tell me about this place? This place? We're an audio studio. You need any voiceover, music, or sound design, then we're your guys. Okay. I feel it. What else are you covering up? So, tell me about yourself. 
not much to say. What you see is what you get. Um, yeah, I just like to keep the straight simple. Do you ever deal with a temp agency called Sterling? Yeah, I use them to hire temps sometimes, when things get busy. Are you using them now? Not at the moment. Things are pretty slow. I was hoping to talk to you about Tiffany. Tiffany? Walters. She used to work for you, as a temp. Did she? I'm afraid we've gone through quite a few temps. Look at yeah, his face, though. Yeah, he has. So, uh, I'm sorry. She might have worked for us, but I don't remember her. You're lying hard. Do you know anyone named Gavin? Hmm, can't say that I do, no. Are you sure you don't remember a Tiffany Walters? I told you, I don't remember anyone named Tiffany Walters. I spoke to a guy from Sterling. He confirmed she worked here. For all I know, he might be right. But I don't remember her. Like I said, we go through a lot of temps here. But why, anytime I mention her name, your face will fall up to You filed a complaint with Sterling about Tiffany. You don't remember that? Have you ever worked with temps? Some are alright, but others? Well, there's a reason why they are temping. So sure, I've made my share of complaints, but can I remember any specific one? No. So you didn't want her no more. Oh, so you had to get her fired. Were you ever in a relationship with anyone named Tiffany? Miss Blackwell, was it? I have a wife and two kids, and none of them are named Tiffany. I'm just okay. following a lead. I was told that Tiffany was involved with someone named Ken. Well, it wasn't me. Okay, Miss Day, it wasn't me. Well, thanks. See you around. I'm gonna go in and snoop around. You sit tight. I couldn't even begin to... It's a set of drawers. <sighs> I can barely make anything out in here. It's kinda black? I have no idea what it is. I can't see a thing. I think we gotta put one of those cards in here. Cecil. Oh yeah, cause Cecil Sharp. Chung Thing. Sharp Town. I don't know. Uh, him and Cecil got something to do with each other. I don't remember what it was though. I think that's his daddy. And then Cecil was Ken Thing. I don't know. It sounds like that. Nothing important back there. Come here for a minute. What is it, Joey? If Ken's been cozying up to Tiffany, maybe somebody caught them at it. Like who? I don't know, a neighbor maybe? I gotta think of everything? Oh, cut it out. Alright, All right, let's so get we'll back, back to it. To sure. About this. Let's see what she has to say. About her and this Mr. Ken. Mr. Ken Sharp. Locked. Oh, why keep being on her? Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Hello again. What? Don't be wetting me, though. I met Ken, and believe me, you can do better. How can you say that? meant for each other, it's just... You love him, he don't love you though. He doesn't realize it yet. But he will. Oh, will he? Okay, this is getting a bit Creepsville. I met... He, but he... Okay. Why do you think Sterling fired you? I don't know. It's run by an emotionless sleaze bag. I never liked him. So. Nice. 
and I can look around. Well, see you around. Yeah, yeah, see ya. And I also need to combine some stuff. Okay, you can relax. I'm back. And then Enjoy. plan our next move again. Dude, I can find on her. Tiffany Ann was the third to die of cerebral hemorrhage on November 11, 2010, at home. She is survived by her parents, who will be making funeral arrangements in her. Okay. Um. Okay, I know it's a bit seasonal now. Y'all try me. Um, well, huh. Trying to think. Okay, well, maybe it ain't nothing. Let's try some comparing. No connection that I can see. Rachel told me that Tiffany was seeing a man named Ken. I don't know where to go at now, no. Maybe I gotta go back to Rachel? I don't know. I'm super lost, y'all. Super. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna end this part right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to thumbs up this video, share it with your friends and family, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because what are you doing? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!